Yeah. Okay, Team Jenkins Motorsport. We are here at our base down in Drury in South Auckland. So we use the Motul 300V in all of our GD86 competition cars, but it doesn't just stop there with us, okay? So we've got to drive these tow vehicles all around the countryside and we're towing some pretty heavy trailers like we've got one enclosed one unenclosed trailer they could see anywhere up to about two or three ton that we're towing behind that Mitsubishi Trident as well so um, that's when we've got to use a really decent product when we're servicing our tow vehicles as well and for this we've used that Motul DPF compatible 8100 oil as well fully synthetic it's DPF compatible and it is the best oil on the market Okay, so general service of any vehicle, bonnet up first up, the car is already on the hoist. Here we have to take off the bash plate, so on any 4x4 we've got to take the bash plate off first so you can get to that sump plug underneath. Undo the 14mm sump plug, so because this vehicle is diesel, the oil always comes out super black. Clean the sump plug off using some of the Motul brake clean. Make sure the sump plug is nice and tight. So on this vehicle, the oil filter is located on the front of the engine, so we've just got to wind that off and replace it with a brand new one. Using the Motul brake clean, just clean up any residual oil. Because we've finished at the bottom of the vehicle now, we can put all of the bash plates on that we took off from the start. Because this vehicle is diesel and it has DPF, we have to run the Motul 8100 X-Clean EFE. Right, so now we've done the engine oil, we will move on to the brake fluid flush as well on this Mitsubishi Triton. So, uh, much to everyone's belief, we're actually using the racing fluid that we use in our GT86 competition cars on the ute as well. A little bit different than to your traditional uh, brake fluid flush, we're gonna be using a pneumatic sucker which will just drain the fluid and it's a lot easier. You can almost do it with one person from the mast cylinder through to all the brake calipers. Whilst Ben is bleeding from the bottom there, from the front caliper, we'll slowly feed in our RBF 600 to the master cylinder. And one of our last things we're gonna do is finish off with Motul's Vision which is a windscreen additive. You can use up to 10%. You can almost use up to 50% in some places where you needed to. Has a built-in antifreeze. Also has no methanol content, but it still evaporates off the screen and leaves no streaks. So there we go. We put 300 mil in, top it up to the top with water, and it's good to go for your windscreen. Okay, another great product for Motul as well is the Easy Lube. So this is a penetrating spray, okay? So we can use this on all of our hinges, our door latches, um, even our wheel nuts as well. So um, we're gonna go in here and use some of this on our bonnet hinges and our bonnet latch, and it'll, uh, it'll hopefully lube them up really great so they can last a lot longer as well. Radio, one of our finishing touches. Just a, a quick detail on the car when it's not too dirty. We've got the wash and wax spray. It's got no water content. Um, and you just apply it accordingly and then just buff it off to, uh, to a shine. So it's a really good product, really good for our race cars. We use it on our race cars between runs and laps and competitions. And we're just going to quickly use it to get rid of some fingerprints and uh, detail up that wing mirror that's a little bit dead. With our tow vehicles, we're going to add the Motul Diesel System Clean. This is going to go into a full tank of diesel. It's recommended to do it on fill up. And the reason why we use this product is just to maintain our good diesel system in the vehicle. So it helps clean injectors, uh, it also helps minimise diesel bug if you have it, and uh, it helps fight against water inside the diesel system. Last thing we want to do is top it off with some of the Shine and Go spray. It smells great, it looks great, it's going to clean up underneath here really nicely just to give us that last touch on this Mitsubishi Trident. Motul's has been a, a backer of ours for, for a fair amount of years and um, it's always been the, the best oil on the market and you can just see that with, with these vehicles, you know, they see 8,500 RPM all the time in these cars. It's a testament to this uh, Motul 300V product that we're using inside these GT S6s. I'm really looking forward to uh, the next few years with Motul as well as we campaign both here in New Zealand and overseas as well.